And now your weather with meteorologist Gino Recchia. Temperatures in the lower 40s along the shoreline today, but farther inland we did see warmer conditions upwards of 50 degrees farther into central Wisconsin away from that pesky northeast wind flow. Average high is 40 degrees, so we were above the average for this time of year, continuing this trend of an overall above average conditions across the month of March. Beautiful, interesting start to the day with some high level cirrus clouds, but as the day weared on and more dry air worked in from Canada, we we're seeing more and more of that blue skies and you'll be used to it for tomorrow and Saturday as well because we'll have plenty of it with a strong area of high pressure around here. 43 right now with a breezy northeast wind at 22 miles per hour sustained with some higher gusts. It's actually making you feel about 10 degrees cooler outside at 34, but with the sun out, it does feel OK for the time being. When the sun goes down, you'll start to feel a little bit of that wind chill. 45 in Appleton and you can see the tower cam is shaking with the northeast wind at 18 miles per hour. We've got 43 in Pembine. 45 Fond du Lac, 37 in Ephraim, still 51 right now in Wapaka and 49 in Watoma. The winds have been pesky out of the northeast throughout the majority of the day today and even last night with the sustained winds coming in at about 15 to 25 miles per hour with some higher gusts upwards of about 40 to 45 miles per hour. Right now, the strongest gust is in Sheboygan at 43 miles per hour. Good news. We are going to be seeing those winds starting to subside as we head into the overnight. The wind advisory does expire at 7 o'clock. Doesn't mean the winds all of a sudden just drop to the bottom, but we will see a slow decrease as we head into the overnight and winds will start to turn out of the southwest as we get into the day for tomorrow, which will allow us to warm up as we head into the weekend. Reason why we've been seeing the strong winds today, we've got a strong ear of high pressure to the south, high pre or low pressure down to the south, high pressure up to the north, and a strong wind flow right in between it. When you have these two strong systems very close together and you're in between them, that's when you get that strong wind flow, which was what we saw today. But we did see no rainfall. That was down to the south, that high pressure pushing in a lot of dry in here, and that's going to provide us with plenty of sunshine over the next 48 hours. You'll see that on Skycast. Look how the skies clear overnight tonight. And then as we go into the next two days, hardly anything to talk about. Enjoy that blue skies, sunshine, and temperatures will be getting close to 50 degrees tomorrow and then into the 50s for the weekend. Now, next uh, increase in cloud cover returns on Sunday. And this will be ahead of our next weather maker, which will bring in on and off rain showers as we head towards Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and even perhaps Thursday morning. So on and off chance of some wet precipitation on the way. 23 overnight, northeast winds 5 to 15, gusts near 25. We'll get up to a high of 48 tomorrow, plenty of sunshine out there. And there you go, a lot calmer winds out of the southwest 5 to 10 miles per hour. Seven day forecast, weekend's looking pretty nice. Highs are supposed to be in the low 40s. We're going to be about 15 to 20 degrees above that for the weekend. Nice taste of spring, which matter of fact, the beginning of astronomical spring starts on Saturday. And then afterwards, there we go. The chance of rainfall Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and even into Thursday. Right now, Monday doesn't look to be a whole washout, but it looks like more Tuesday and Wednesday. You'll definitely be needing that umbrella more than likely. As long as we can keep the winds down, sounds like the perfect spring weekend, Gino. Thank you.